Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Don't wait to file. IRS encourages taxpayers with October filing extensions and others who still need to file. Isn't it nice that the IRS is so encouraging? Like a loving mother saying, you can do it little taxpayer. But remember, if you don't do it, you see these two sticks right here, one labeled penalty, the other labeled interest, they will be applied directly to your face. Not the face. That's my money maker. Anyways, just kidding. They don't apply the penalty directly to your face. They apply it to the pocketbook. But here we go. File electronically when ready. Speeds refunds avoids added interest penalties. IR 2022-116, June 2nd, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service is encouraging taxpayers who have yet to file their 2021 tax return. You've yet to file. Come on, people. Well, you could be on extension, so okay. Including those who requested an extension of time to file a complete and accurate return electronically as early as possible once they have all their information together. So if you haven't filed, they're just saying, we're just saying here that, you know, you should do that at some point in time. It'd be nice. Make sure you do that sometime. So there's no need to wait until October deadline. So, you know, you have until October, but it, we, you could do it earlier. You could if you wanted to. It'd be okay with us at the IRS over here. Taxpayers who requested an extension have until October 17th this year to file their tax return. However, if a taxpayer has all the necessary information to file an accurate return, filing before summer vacation can be a win-win. Don't you want to do that? You want to get it. You want to get it out before the vacation, don't you? It's for your own it's for your own benefit. So quote, IRS employees continue working hard to process tax returns and address our inventory issues, end quote. Inventory issues for the IRS are the tax returns that they're trying to uh, get out. And obviously if they get the information in faster, you would think that would be easier for them to sort that information and uh, and process it. So I would assume that they would like to get the, the tax returns earlier possibly so they could process the stuff before you get into the next filing season, you know, next year. So said this was said by IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick, quote, we continue to urge people to file electronically and do it as soon as possible. Even if people have an extension to file until October, send in the tax return as soon as possible can either help get them a refund quicker or it can save them money if they owe uh, by avoiding additional interest and penalties, end quote. So there it is. Obviously, if you owe money, then don't forget about the sticks. I know they talk nice over there. They talk nice. They're encouraging and they're just, you know, the sweethearted most people ever. But they will hit you with the sticks of uh, penalties and interest, which is the true motivation here. So filing electronically as soon as possible can also help taxpayers who did not file an extension and missed the April deadline to avoid further penalties and interest if they owe taxes. File electronically and choose direct deposit. That's the preferred method by the IRS, and it's probably the easiest one to use in general. Generally, people who choose choose not to file a tax return because they don't earn enough money to be required to file won't receive a penalty if they are owed a refund. So in other words, basically, if you owe money uh, to the IRS, then the IRS you know, obviously isn't as concerned with you filing the tax return because they would have to process you a refund. So you could be on extension. If your income is below a certain threshold, you might not be required to file at all. But these days, it's kind of silly not to at least look into as to whether it would be worthwhile to file, given the fact that the IRS has been just spouting and spewing money out of every pore in their fiber and being for the last couple of years, you know? So if you file the tax return, you might get something because they got the child tax credit, they changed that, the earned income tax credit, the economic income payments, and the refund, all these refundable credit reform kind of things. So, and the tax software is basically free, you know, that you could take a look at online if you are under a certain threshold looking up the free file status. So, and I think that's only available up through the extension deadline of October. So if your income is below this threshold, you don't need to file, you probably still want to look into it because why wouldn't you, given the fact that all this money was spewed out, which probably caused inflation or at least was a participating factor in it. So you might as well get the benefit of the money because the money may not be worth as much as the money was worth 
before the money was spewing out of the pores of the any case but uh they may miss out on receiving a refund if they don't file the irs advises individuals who still need to file a 2021 tax run return to file electronically there's a link to that here and if do a refund to choose direct deposit so filing electronically is fast accurate and secure and when an individual chooses direct deposit their refund goes directly from the irs into their bank or financial account getting their their refund in the fastest time possible if they have a prepaid debit card they may be able to have their refund applied to the card by providing the account and routing numbers to the irs don't worry there you know all this information the irs has everybody's completely trustworthy these days but you know you got it. that is the fastest way to go uh, to get the refund so the irs processes most e-filed returns and issues direct deposit refunds in less than three weeks here's a tip to help with e-filing a 2021 tax return for those still waiting on their 2020 tax return to be processed the to validate and successfully submit an electronically filed tax return to the irs taxpayers need their adjusted gross income or agi from their most recent tax return so this is this is important information let's listen close to this one here if you haven't yet filed those waiting on their 2020 tax return can still file their 2021 return uh, by entering zero for their 2020 agi on their 2021 tax return Okay, so let me see if I can summarize this. This is kind of like when you're playing a video game, and I haven't played video games for a long time, but back, it used to be that you could enter the secret code with an up, up, down, right, right, left, A, 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 B kind of kind of thing, so that you can get, you know, you can get past to a certain level. Well, here, if you haven't filed your 2020, t I mean, if you filed your 2020, but it hasn't been processed yet, and then you want to file the 2021 tax return, you might think, well, I can't do that because to file it, they're asking me for a secret code which is the agi of the, uh, that's the adjusted gross income on the 2020 tax return but that doesn't work when i put in that secret code because why because the iris hasn't processed the 2020 return so maybe i have to wait till it's processed before i can do the 2021 but no that's where the secret code comes in because if you haven't filed the 2020 or if it hasn't been processed yet then you should be able to enter zero as the secret code and then uh you should be able to process and file the 2021 return even if the 2020 return hadn't totally been processed so that's why you're here people so you get this kind of stuff this is kind of this is insider information so remember if using the same tax preparation software as last year this field will auto populate so if you're using the same software you might not even be aware of it it's just doing it uh, by itself you know it's helping you to file it but that's what it's doing and if there's a problem it's good to know that taxpayers who haven't filed a 2021 tax return yet including extension filers can file electronically anytime before the october deadline and avoid the last minute rush to file you don't want that last minute rush people that's what the irs is saying you could file early if you want find help on irs.gov irs.gov v for victory over tax questions it's the only help you're going to get most likely because they, they don't do the phone stuff they're trying not to limit the phone stuff so in any case people may be waiting to file because they need help or more information have a more complicated tax return or owe taxes the irs has resources to help taxpayers get the answers they need so they can file an accurate return take the time to file an accurate tax return but don't wait until the last minute and risk missing the october deadline so the irs doesn't want an inaccurate return but they would also like the return like sooner rather than later possibly now and if you wait too long they will show their annoyance by hitting you with penalties and interest sticks so which aren't physical sticks this is a metaphor that they, they hit your wallet book pocket book with the sticks of penalties okay so tools on the irs website are easy to use and available 24 hours a day so this is where they're going to say check out our website because 
we don't really want to talk to you. Please don't call. Please don't call us because we got our, that's why we have the website. So millions of people use them to find information about their accounts, get answers to tax questions or file and pay taxes. The online tools include important special steps related to the economic impact payments and advanced child tax credit payments. There's links to that stuff here. IRS.gov, IRS.gov has many online tools and resources ranging from tax preparation and refund tracking tools to tax law research tools like the Interactive Tax Assistance. There's a link to that here and answers for frequently asked questions, the FAQs uh, on dozens of subjects, just, just dozens of them. So payment options, submitting a tax return and paying any amount owed as soon as possible can help taxpayers avoid further interest and penalties. So there it is. They try to subtly say what the true influence here, what the true, what you're trying to really do is not get hit by these sticks, right? It's not like, it's not like, oh, they're so nice over there. I'm just going to send them some money and do my taxes because they're so, they're so, they're so personable. Uh, no, you're trying, you're, you're trying to avoid the penalties and interest. So taxpayers who owe taxes can review all payment options online. These include paying taxes through the online account. So the online account's getting better and better. They stopped the kind of facial recognition thing, at least for now, I think. So they're not trying to like take over the world and, you know, put a chip in your head or something, or I don't, I don't know why they would need that, but I don't think you need that anymore. So you could go online and get onto your your account they got the irs direct pay or you can pay with a debit card credit card or digital wallet although there might be a small fee on the credit card side if you do that the irs options for people who can't pay their taxes include applying for a payment plan so if you can't pay the taxes don't just avoid the taxes you don't just say i'm just not going to do it because i can't pay it what am i going to do i'm just going to ignore it you can't do that because what the irs does it's kind of nefarious is they they basically will keep on kind of nagging you with letters for some time and it seems like nothing's happening but then the penalties and interest accumulate like a like a the stick roll down a hill that gets a bunch of snow that turns into ice on it before they hit you with it at some point and so so you want to make sure that you that you're in compliance and you could just file a a plan a payment plan to do that and you don't even really have to talk to anyone to do that and you could basically get a payment plan and then you're still in compliance and at least lowering the amount of penalties and interest in that case. So IRS free file eligible individuals, including those who requested an extension to file, can use the IRS free file program to prepare and file their federal tax return for free, which is nice. And again, you might as well check out the, whether or not you're going to get money back with the software if you can get access to a computer because it could be free. And so you want to you want to check it out while it is free. I don't think it will be free past the extension time frame. That's the stranglehold that the IRS has over these for-profit uh, tax software providers, and they can't hold that stranglehold. I don't think much past the October deadline here. So the program offers 70% of all taxpayers the choice of several brand name tax preparation software packages to use at no cost, which is nice. Those who earned less than $73,000 in 2021 can choose which package is best for them. Some even offer free state tax return preparation. Those that earn more have the option to use the IRS free file fillable forms, which I don't recommend generally because if you earn more money than that, you probably have a more complex return and should probably be using some software which can help you limit your errors and or talk to a tax professional at that point due to your tax return most likely being somewhat complicated due to needs for tax planning possibly as well. You also got the mail tax online software which is I believe uh, done by the government. It's not a for, for profit software so that to me would indicate I'm not sure if it would be as good as the top for-profit kind of softwares that are competing against other softwares, but it is designed specifically for military members and possibly could be free over a certain threshold. So if anybody has any experience with that software in comparisons with other brand name softwares uh, and would like to give us some comparing and some contrasting on them and your opinions, let us know. 
Uh, it's also available for members of the military and certain veterans, regardless of income. This software is offered through the Department of Defense. Eligible taxpayers can use MailTax to prepare and electronically file their federal tax returns and up to three state returns for free. Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, the IRS Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, the VITA, there's a link to that here, program still offers face-to-face -face help preparing taxes in some locations in communities across the country. So that face-to-face -face help hasn't completely disappeared with COVID, although it might be face-to-mask or mask-to-mask -mask help or whatever, but you know, it's, it's, you're still kind of there in person, I guess. So check that out in any case. It offers free basic tax return preparation to people who generally make $58,000 or less and people with disabilities or limited English speaking taxpayers. The VITA slash TCE site locator, there's a link to that here, can help eligible taxpayers find the nearest community based site staffed by IRS trained and certified volunteers. Taxpayers can use the locator tool to see if there's an available site still open near them. Tax professionals. Many people use a trusted tax professional to help guide them through the process of doing their taxes and avoiding errors. There are various types of tax return professionals, including certified public accountants, enrolled agents, attorneys, and many others who don't have a professional credential. So you might want to look into the different credentials which might be most appropriate for you in general you would think the cpas would be pretty good if you're talking about someone that needs like accounting needs as well possibly more on the business or uh, returns side of things because they might have a better you know understanding their focus was a lot of on accounting as well as taxes the enrolled agent maybe maybe more appropriate for people uh in general that are going to be the individual tax just a straightforward kind of individual tax returns possibly not so much as if you have more of a complex business component uh, to it but some of them may be competent there as well and then the attorneys usually if you're looking for tax preparation they might have like a specialty kind of area that the attorneys are in that might be applicable to you because attorneys are quite the attorney field field is like quite broad so usually if they're in taxes, they're going to specialize in some area possibly as well. So in any case, because tax professionals have access to an individual's personal and financial information, it's important to choose a tax, a tax preparer wisely. There's a link here to possibly help you do so. For taxpayers who, who want help with their taxes, this online directory can help them find a tax professional in their area. There's a link to that online direct directory. There's links to all the other stuff that I said there was a link to. So you can check it out. You can you can browse the IRS's wonderful website and uh, there'll be a link to this in the description.